Have you ever wondered how a parachute works? Well, parachutes are fascinating contraptions, ingeniously designed to decelerate descent. Their story dates back centuries, evolving over time. They're pivotal in reducing speed, ensuring a safe landing. A parachute is an amazing invention that uses the principles of physics to slow down descent. But how does it do that? The magic of parachutes lies in the principles of physics and aerodynamics. Let's delve into the science of it all. The key to understanding how a parachute works is the concept of air resistance, also known as drag. When an object falls through the atmosphere, it encounters resistance from the air. This resistance force opposes the downward force of gravity. Now picture a parachute. Its large, round canopy is designed to capture as much air as possible. As it descends, the air fills the canopy, creating a significant amount of drag. This drag slows the parachute's fall significantly. It's like trying to walk through water. The water's resistance makes it harder to move quickly, right? That's essentially what's happening with a parachute in the air. The shape of the parachute is also crucial. The curved design helps maintain stability during the descent, preventing the parachute from wobbling or spinning out of control. This is because the shape evenly distributes the air pressure across the entire surface of the parachute. So, a parachute slows us down by capturing a large amount of air in its canopy, which creates a drag that counteracts the force of gravity. So, what have we learned about parachutes today? We've unraveled how these ingenious tools use the principles of physics and aerodynamics to decelerate descent, turning potentially deadly falls into manageable, even enjoyable experiences. The parachute's large surface area and unique shape are critical in this process, allowing it to catch and resist the air, slowing its bearer's fall to the earth. Next time you see a parachute, you will know it's not just a piece of fabric, but a marvel of science and engineering.